Number 14, the equation of line K, y'all write down 2X minus 3Y equals 9. And the equation of line J is going to be 6X minus 9Y equals 10. Okay, we've got to know if the lines are perpendicular, if they have the same y-intercept, the same x-intercept, or if they're parallel. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave them standard but go down and make them mx plus b. So I'm going to take this 2x over, leave some space here, and write down negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 9. So when I move that 2x to the right, it's going to go from a positive to a negative. Now then, to get the y by itself, I'm going to divide by negative 3. And I'll end up with y equals 2 over 3x minus 3. So I know my slope is 2 over 3, and my y-intercept is negative 3. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to skip down to about right here. I'm going to keep the y on the left equals the 6x, when I move it to right, will change from a positive to a negative. Now that I'm going to divide everything by a negative 9, I'll end up with y equals 2 negatives make a positive, and this simplifies to 2 over 3, and then this is going to be a negative 10 over 9. So on this one right here, my slope is 2 over 3, and my y-intercept is negative 10 over 9, isn't it? Notice the slopes are the what? Same, right? The slopes are the same. That means the lines are what? Parallel, right? These two lines are parallel because they have the same slope. Now then, they do not have the same y-intercept because the y-intercepts are different. We can find the x-intercepts with these, though. To find the x-intercept, you're going to put 2x equals 9, divide by 2, 9 over 2 would be my x-intercept. Over here, 6x equals 10, divide by 6, and you would get 5 over 3 as your x-intercept. The x-intercepts are different, aren't they? The y-intercepts are different, so the only thing these have in common is they're parallel. Did you?